It's time to learn, repair, and maintain everything coffee. Instructional videos brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hi, my name is Todd from Whole Latte Love, and today we're going to check and adjust the pump pressure on an extra bar vibration pump machine. We're going to show you the process we go through in the shop when we test each machine before we ship it. Take out the drip tray and drip it, and then we take our porta filter, a little water in there. Just so you know, one of the things we'll learn here is if the pump might be getting weak and somebody who's got an older machine. Exactly. This, this will give yep. us that to We'll us. go through that whole thing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we put a back flush disc in here. You may have a rubber one that fits in your filter basket, but I'm using the metal one here. Put that into the machine. And then we have our pump pressure gauge right up here. We're going to raise this lever, turn the pump on, and then adjust the pressure until we get to 10 bar on this gauge here. Okay, lever's going up. Start, you'll notice the pump pressure going up goes up kind of slow, which is perfectly normal. It takes roughly 15 seconds or so for it to get up to full pressure. Okay, we already have it at 10, but I'll show you. Let me put that in there. I get my head in the way, sorry. You're fine. Okay, turn it clockwise, raise it up, counterclockwise to lower it. So we'll set it at 10 with the back flush disc in. Okay, before you put the lever down, you always want to put the drip tray back in or you'll make a mess. And putting it at 10 with the back flush disc in gets you actually 9 bar at the group? Exactly. 9 bar when you have a flow rate of about 2 ounces and 25 seconds, okay. which is roughly what you're going to have for espresso, of course, depending on the, the blend of coffee and all that and your mm -hmm. grind settings. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the flow rate when we're at 10 bar. We have to have a certain flow rate or we'll know that the pump is actually kind of weak. And here's how we check that. You have two tubes going in the water reservoir. Well, one, if it's a new machine, we'll have this water filter on the end of it. And I've marked it here to make it easy for me to see because I don't have a filter on it. And the other one is a water. This tube comes back from your OPV in your deaerator. Okay? And that bypasses water back to the reservoir. If you have a plumbable machine, they will come to this chrome tube down here. So you'll do all the tests we're about to go forward and do. You'll actually do them at this point. Okay, so I got the back flush disc in here in the porter filter. I'm raising the lever up, and you first you'll see a lot of water coming out. That's coming from the deaerator. First that comes out. That's normal. Just to make sure there's no air in the pump. And then you'll see the it'll start to die down. Okay, now it's now the OPV is opening up. That's water coming from the OPV. You also see we're up to pressure there on the gauge. Yep, on the gauge, we're at 10 bar. So we want to get about one ounce of water in about 12 seconds. That'll show that we have enough overhead pressure um, to create the right amount of flow. And one, two, I'll time it here. Reset the timer and go. Can you see both those there? Yep. Sounds good. Okay. One ounce. Yeah. Okay, we've got about 13 seconds on that one. So that's good. So we know that the pump has enough pressure and it's moving enough water to make a really good espresso. So if your machine is doing that, you know you're good to go. If you find that at 10 bar, you don't have any water coming out of there, your pump's getting weak. And it's probably time to replace it. And when you're in there, you may want to also replace the aerator and the OPV. As you're in there replacing it, replace the whole thing. It's not much extra money to do. So that's how you check and adjust the pump pressure on the extra bar vibration pump, vibration pump machines. I'm Todd from Whole Latte Love. Thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com.